On July 19th, 2014, there was a regional Netrunner tournament in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania at Red Cap Games and Hobbies. In the elimination rounds, game number 13 on your bracket. On the left, we have Josh, the 16th seed, playing Andromeda with yellow sleeves. And on the right, we have Ben playing MBN with blue sleeves. He's the ninth seed. All right, while they're deciding whether to mulligan or not, I want to talk about a few uh, unrelated things. Someone commented on one of my non-Netrunner videos recently, is that Netrunner Scott? <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, because I don't like to promote myself, uh, I tend not to, you know, try to talk about all the things I do where it's inappropriate. But, uh, you know, I also don't want to be known as Netrunner Scott. This is sort of like not my primary thing that I do, even though I do play a lot of Netrunner. Uh, I've been doing a podcast it's called Geek Nights since 2005. Uh, and we also have a YouTube channel, and we do uh, lectures at many conventions, including PAX Prime. I hope to see you there. I'll be playing Netrunner, and also uh, we have a panel. So I put a link uh, in the show description for this video for anyone who is, uh, didn't know who I was. All right, well, this game's going nicely. <laughs> Looks like there was some uh, turn one sweeps week there. Uh, against Andromeda, but Andromeda has Desperado Data Sucker to match that. A celebrity gift. Was that a celebrity gift I saw? Not using the special order, throwing it out, implying either a hand of breakers or a hand of special orders. A celebrity gift in an NBN is usually a uh, mid seasons giveaway. Usually a mid-seasons giveaway. Okay, runs R and D, no res, Eli. Man, that that double sweep week on the opening is just unbelievable against Andromeda. I think with, especially nowadays, uh, this tournament was before the lunar cycle, but nowadays that you have. Uh, near Earth Hub and everyone playing Sweeps Week, that really hurts Andromeda. You know, you might want to consider Gabe. Uh, near Earth Hub might give you the HQ accesses, especially if you drop a sneak door. And that economic advantage might make up for the consistency of drawing nine cards straight away if you play Mr. Lee. Okay, so he ran that, um, he ran that Draco there, and the trace on the Draco was four. Rather than pay three to get through, then get one back from Desperado, he let the run end and took the tag, then paid two credits and a click to remove. I would rather pay three credits than two credits and a click to remove, to avoid the tag, because then on top of that, you would get the access, the data sucker token, and the Desperado. Um, now, you might say, well, since we saw a Celebrity Gift, we might be smelling mid-seasons. You don't want to access but you, we just accessed R and D, so he was. You know that could have been an agenda too. I mean, if you're willing to access, you're willing to access. Okay, there's the celebrity gift we saw, and we're gonna see that hand. Hedge fund, Beal, Psycho, Astro, and mid season. Yeah, so probably the it ended up being a good idea not to access HQ for fear that mid seasons hit, especially after the double sweeps week and and oh man, the hedge fund now really enabling it. But if you had been afraid of that, you wouldn't have run R&D uh, and accessed on the no res either. So, well, Katie is working now. How is Katie going to catch up uh, to that amount of money? There has to be account siphon. Account siphon is the only way here. Uh, you can easily account siphon straight through that Draco. Uh, how much money is he really going to use to boost the Draco? And if he does, then... Uh, well, now there's more ice in HQ, so you're going to need a breaker. And he's installed a card in a remote. From what we saw in the hand, that's got to be, is it, it's probably the Astro script, right? Because, I mean, what would be the point of putting down the naked beal just to score it? And maybe, you know, I don't think he drew an asset. 
But after showing with Celebrity Gift, you know, showing mid-seasons, you can't, even if that's Astro, do you run and take it? I mean, you run and take it, you're buried in tags. He has Psycho Beal in hand. It's, it's going to be game over. Even if you empty Katie, it's still Psycho Beal. It's too much. Um, yeah, so here he's just, he's going to try to get an economy going. I guess he doesn't have an account siphon, or he didn't have one at that moment when he could have used it against the single, the lone Draco. And he threw out a special order. Could have got a mimic with it, maybe. Yeah, it was indeed the Astro script. So Astro token Ahoy, midseason still on. Do you put, I mean, do you just put down the Beal and just start advancing it, daring him to, to run it? <laughs> if he takes it, then you just get another Beal and win. Uh, and if he doesn't take it, then you just keep advancing it till you win. Okay, so he ran R&D. The Eli was rezzed and the Ichi was rezzed, so at least you're hurting his economy there. Uh, he loses the uh, Data Sucker to the Ichi because he spent two clicks on the Eli. Uh-oh, breaking news. Breaking news, mid-seasons, you saw it already. Well, it's probably game. That is probably game. Okay, so he's got to do the math on this. Let us let us do try to do the math. 20 credits, 5 of them activates mid-season, plus 2, no matter what. So it's going to be Trace 7. Trace 7 against 5's uh, 8 credits is not going to put very many tags. In order to make a 5-point beal for the win, you would need 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, you would need nine advancements, so nine, ta nine, ten, twelve tags on the psychographics. But you could probably realistically just get a three-point beal, which would only require five tags. So eight and five is thirteen. So you would need to trace thirteen to land five tags. Oh no, he has one link. You might need to trace fourteen to land five tags. And then you could psycho a three-point Beal. So he is going to spend all his credits to get how many? Was it the math that I used? It is. It is. It is the math I used. Yep. Five tags and a three-point Beal. Now, interesting is that he left Katie there. He could have, instead of scoring the Beal there, let it go. And then... Psycho Beal the next turn, even if he got rid of a tag, which is at most he could have gotten rid of his one tag, realistically speaking. Credit, credit, remove tag down to four. You can install Psycho for four, advance once, and get your three-point Beal. He could have trashed Katie instead, but now uh, the runner could theoretically take all of the credits off of Katie and remove three tags in one go bringing it down to two. Um, but, you know, it doesn't really matter. He's kept his Astro token, and he's brought himself to game point at five. If he has any an Astro or a Beal in hand or gets one, the game is over, uh, regardless. And puts another Data Sucker. I don't... It emptied Katie uh, to force him to have closed accounts. And puts a Data Sucker, runs Archives, draws a card... And he had the Beal, so there you go. That is the end of Game 13 of the Philadelphia Regionals. Mid-seasons, taking it in both the games we've seen so far. Watch out. Keep your economy up. Uh, just want to make a note here also. Uh, there was an interview with Damon Stone at Nationals, which just happened, uh, just finished as I'm recording this. And... He said, you know, people keep talking about economy. We're making all these cards so you can have a runner without, where it isn't powered by credits. Sure, you can make a runner that isn't powered by credits. I've been trying to do that for a long time. But the fact is, as long as there are cards like NAPD, mid-seasons, etc., which where the corp forces the runner to have credits... Regardless of what you mean, you can make a runner deck where none of the runner cards really make you need to have credits to make them work. But the corp cards are going to make you need credits, whether the runner cards need them or not. And, you know, so 
you no matter what cards they print for runner, unless they make hard counters for things like mid seasons or NAPD or ways to get around those kinds of cards without having money, runner's always gonna need money. It's just just the way the game is now for the cards that we currently know about. Okay. Uh, let's hurry up and go to the next game. 